Hi, I'm Mike Hurley. Welcome to Mega Studio. This is actually a good place to start. This is the lounge. So when I put this space together, I also wanted to be able to feel like I could be here all day. And part of the being here all day is that I tend to have a lot of downtime in the day. So I might be waiting on a show that I'm recording in a couple of hours and I might have like a 30, 45 minute break. So I would come here, maybe do some work on my iPad or play games. So I have an Xbox here, but I've really recently, I've just been sitting on the couch and playing on my Steam Deck because it's better than anything else that I own. This chair as well, I take meetings from this chair. If it's like just a Zoom call or something with a bunch of people where I don't need to record it, then this is just a chair that I sit on. I find it comfortable. I have this little side table, but it doesn't really do a great job because it goes on here and it like rocks around. Mm. So uh, many times I'm on meetings and then it just starts to shake because that's just how it is. But there kind of isn't really anything else I could find. This does the job well enough for now. What's this little front area we got here? Uh, this is my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, this is the thing, right? Kids, the kids today, they do, they open their fridges. This is what I have in my fridge. <laughs> it's, these are just basic lunches. I have milk for this cereal that I enjoy. That's apparently low carb cereal. The magic spoon, classic. Yeah. Um, and then I have uh, various drinks that get me through the evening recordings. Excellent. And then these came with a delivery. What well, a delivery is like DoorDash. Sure. But here, so there's some little, uh, so if I get fancy one evening, want a cocktail, I can have that. Little spritzers. I yeah. don't know why I have this barbecue sauce. I don't remember because I don't use it on anything. <laughs> and, and I have some ketchup. <laughs> this station was originally built, well, put in, I should say, for COVID measures in the studio. Mm. The same as this blue line here. Uh, we signed the lease on this place in February 2020. Mm, bad timing. We then didn't use it for six to nine months or something. The idea was when we came in, nothing went past this space without being cleaned. Sure. This was back in the time where everyone was cleaning their groceries. Oh, I remember. Yeah. So A lot of Lysol wipes. That's why there's like lots of oh. antibacterial <laughs> here and wipes. I did not look carefully. Everything would be cleaned in this area yep. and then we could progress outside of the, the COVID safe zone. Yeah. So, but now I use this as like, I come in, I drop my stuff down, you know, I keep my water here. This I like a lot. This is a picture by a company called Lark. I had a Brita filter and my wife Adina showed me a picture that she found on Reddit of somebody's Brita filter covered in mold. Oh. Okay. And it, oh, freaked, gross. it freaked me out. <laughs> and then I got an Instagram ad for this company, Lark. They make bottles too. I have one of their bottles at home. They have bottles that just have filters in them and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But this has a filter, but it also has a UV oh, filter. Sure. So I just like that it's got the two things and it also cleans itself with the UV light on our schedule. Uh, Lark are not a sponsor, but I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> the studio that Instagram built. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it, I wouldn't mind it. Uh, over in the corner over there, by the way, is, that's my iMac. One yeah. of the great things about space like this is I can keep the boxes. Yeah. Because when, in my apartment, we usually get rid of the boxes because we had nowhere to put the boxes. And then when you sell the computers, you have no boxes to sell them in. This is my microwave. In case you don't know how one of these works. <laughs> uh, and then this is just like a cabinet of stuff. Let me see what's in there. I have various like, sealed and unsealed cortex brown projects this ruler i use all the time i want a nice ruler but can't find one like i want one made of brass or something sure i've never found like a 30 centimeter ruler and i need 30 centimeter rulers a lot to measure the products that we are working on sure i've uh, got like various samples of things pantone stuff Classic. so expensive never used them because it was a project i was working on never had to use it in the end oh don't worry about that. Hello. <laughs> uh, and then just these are some like products, either competitive products or things that I'm intrigued in, sure. or things that I've been sent. Um, and also studio neat panel books that I use for a while. Sure. This is the greatest thing ever. We use I, this I just company. caught my eye. What is this? This is a this is a paper sample book. Ooh. Uh, we're working with GS Smith now on some projects, which I'm really excited about. But this is like every paper that they do like that this company sells they're like a they're like a paper supplying company and sourcing company very cool they there is this company i don't know what this is called Gmund. i expect that they are a german company 
They make some papers that I'm so excited about. I want to be able to use this on something one day because this color, you can maybe attest to this. It doesn't look natural no. in any way. Like I don't think it will actually come through. A lot of the products that Gamund makes are like that. Like their paper colors, they like, they are, they look unnatural. God, the names are just incredible too. And they are really good. Uh, go to hell black. So I would love to use those one day, but I can't imagine what that would ever be on. I am currently draft champion. You are draft champion. At the time of recording. This is... Oh, I suppose we should say it's September 3rd, yeah. 2022. This today. could change in a week. <laughs> this is the podcast. This is the podcast. This That's is where I record it. from. Now, when we bought this studio, you probably can hear there's an echo in the space. When we bought this studio, the hardest issue we had, and I thought it was the biggest mistake that I ever made in my life, was I didn't think we would be able to soundproof this place. We tried these panels, the panels did nothing. Oh, the two nothing. panels up on yeah. the wall here? There were three. Uh, off, we put them up, then we went into lockdown, came back six months later, and it all fell off the wall. Awesome. Then it's things, it was terrible. One of them wouldn't go back up. This is also just a stupid mistake that I made because I wanted it here. If I would have put those panels on this wall, which is a flat wall, it would have stuck. But then we found these acoustic blankets. So we also bought these. These are supposed to be acoustic panels. They don't really do a ton, these panels, I don't think. But what I like when I'm recording, uh, I don't like the thought that someone could come up behind me. <laughs> I don't know why I have this as a thing. Fair. I just like in this space this large, I just like that there is like a wall behind me. Mm -hmm. But these acoustic blankets make a big difference. I wonder if it would show up in the microphone, but if you come in here, it deadens the oh, sound. Oh, it's so much less in here. Yeah. And with my microphone, I use a Neumann KMS 105. This is gross, don't look at that. Not looking. Uh, this is the microphone that I use. It's very good at just picking up what is in front of it. Sure. So with the combination of these blankets, kind of this a little bit, I think. I'm sure it helps. And the microphone, I think the sound is, is good. Your podcast is more than good great. enough. Yeah. Uh, I still hear that there is more resonance in my voice than there used to be when I was at home, but it is well within an acceptable level. Sure. This is my recording desk. This desk covered in stickers for one of our St. Jude campaigns in 2021. Uh, every $500 we raised included a sticker. We raised $700,000, so that's a lot of stickers. Uh, this desk mat was an anniversary present from my wife. I don't remember what year it was, but one of the anniversary years was leather. So this is a leather desk mat and a leather candle. I think it was last year, so that would have been, is that four? Oh, this is a Ricky so, plush toy made by one of our Discord members and a listener of Connected. Wonderful, love the medals. If you are a listener of Connected, whenever I do the Connected quiz and I make that noise, it's this button. That's how the magic happens. That's where that happens. That's that's where it is. I'm a lover of the designer Paul Smith. Yes, yep, we've talked about this before. Paul Smith clock, Paul Smith lamp. The, the clock is what caught my eye when we yeah. came in here, I love that. Really wonderful gift also from my wife uh, for Christmas, I think, last year. I love the colors on the lamp arm too. Yeah, this is the Ricky's, the official Tricky, mm -hmm. the, tr the Ricky's trophy made by Matt, one of our Discord mods. So yeah, then I have, these were a gift from Austin Evans. We opened a bunch of Pokemon cards together and he gave me these two from the things that we opened. Love it. Uh, what else have we got here? Various pens. I mean, that, that keyboard in the middle, I feel like there's a little attention. This is mode 80. This is the green and the brass one I built recently. This is the 2020... 2022? 2022 version. I couldn't remember what, whatever it was, 2021 or 2022. They changed that one. GMK Olivia. God, the green is hard to capture. Yeah, doesn't look green. No, it's, a, in no, anything it's an awesome color, though. But my eyes. Yeah. Oh, my keyboard's under here. With the touch ID sensor. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to explain this for people who may not have uh, heard this story before? Well, I like that the new Macs have Touch ID, the keyboards, right? Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to use the keyboard. I wanted to use this far superior keyboard. So I decided I would Velcro this underneath. I will show you in a minute the thing that I did because I had the, uh, the one that's extracted. Yep. But this is the original I did. I just Velcro it underneath. Sometimes this arm hits this button, sends my computer to sleep. <laughs> but it's fine. Oh boy. There you go. Please blur that. Yep. So I have these two monitors they're gonna do for now, but th this is just visibly, it's too large for how close I am. Well, especially the moment it was on there, it's very imposing. Yeah. How much stuff there's on the displays. And then I have this display, which I really love having the second display. I have, when I'm recording like audio hijack and zoom and everything's just here. 
so I can always look and it's out of the way and I, and I really enjoy that. Perfect. But this one is too big and it doesn't have a camera so I have to use this crap thing. And I have a little hook from there. Oh, perfect. The uh, DT770s? Yeah. I've used these for years. They're really comfortable. They're really good. Very, very comfortable. I love them a lot. And then Herman Miller uh, Embody. Embody, yeah. I own an embarrassing amount of these shows. <laughs> I own five. Of Herman Miller or Embodies? Herman Miller Embodies. Oh my goodness. I have three here and two at home. Wow. That I've accumulated over the last decade. Your, your spine alignment must be yeah. great though. Super good. This is my main desk. This is where, when I'm not recording, I work here. And when I'm streaming, obviously, is here. So that's any keyboard streaming, any kind of podcast streaming, all of that stuff happens here. Mm -hmm. We'll start with this desk, I guess. Sure. So, uh, currently- so this is the not recording work desk. Yeah, this is the, like, if I'm not recording, I'm sitting here. It's powered by an M2 MacBook Air. This is the Touch ID button extracted from another keyboard, which I did on stream. With the 3D printed case now. The, the, it's the bad version. I have a new 3D printed case that I want to replace that in. It was right on. quite complicated. This is my iPad that is, uh, I stole this idea from David Sparks. It's the status board. Oh, sure. Yep. So I have it plugged in all the time, but it's on a home kit automation to just turn the power on a couple of hours a day when I'm here. I have my studio display. This is the tilt adjustable stand. Okay. Which is great because tilt or, or height and tilt. Height and tilt. Height and tilt. I don't like this. The 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 tilt adjustable stand for me is way too low. Oh, okay. That's why I have the stand on the inside because when I was using my iMac, I had it on that stand. Oh, it was all Stephen heads so just blended in. Yeah, it's notice. hard to see, but yeah. I had the it's iMac camouflaged. on the stand. <laughs> now I like it because I have like I can put my audio gear under and yep. things on top. Yep. But I have my iMac on there, Absolutely. so when I do get a studio display for this, I will just get the tilt adjustable one because sure. I can just put it on top of that. But that's why for this desk, I didn't want to have to do that again. So I just went with the one with the fancy like Pro Display Junior stand. So <laughs> I think of it. Studio Dock from Studio Neat. Lovely walnut and cork. Because I like that. I don't like to use Qi Charger on my iPhone. This has just got the lightning port built into it. Oh, I assumed that was on just the back. Part of the watch band. I didn't notice that. Then the watch line. And then this is a cheap pad that I use for like my AirPods or whatever. Sure. Um, little pen cup and a bunch of stickers. These are like for Theme System Journal subscribers, get stickers. Ooh. There's just like a bunch of those. And so we got Caretex, uh, This is Cortexmas. Cortexmas. That hasn't gone out to people as we speak. That's going the next time. 2022, and then these, I called this Cortex Miami. Uh, <laughs> and then they, this is white, but with clear, and it's blue with clear. Oh, I thought those were upside down. It's white yeah. and clear. Very cool. This is kind of funny that these keys just don't stay on. These are the Pokemon. Oh, Resident Artisans. Artisans. Yep. And they just like, they just fall off. What switches you got in there? Uh, they're the Haramel switches. Oh, I'm very excited to type on this yeah. later. This is a, just a, this is my pre-release mode sonnet. Uh, it's white with, I think it's just gray. Yep. Well, it's silver, whatever they call it. Um, with Haramel switches, CRP round four. Very nice. Uh, and all your Pokemon. Yeah. Nice crafts up top. Uh -huh. Very cool. And they're just various things. This was a bunch of these little things were we do gifts for our hosts every year. I think that was the first one. So all really anthem hosts just get we send we like to send them things every year. This was a, a gift from my brother for my 30th birthday. So it's an old wrestling action figure that was modified to look like me. <laughs> it's one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. That's so good. It's so good. The head fell off once and I had to glue it back on. Oh dear. I don't know why. I wouldn't have noticed. Maybe it was like already kind of like put on there. Uh, this is my streaming desk. This is the mouse that I had custom made by Leonardo the Mouse. I love your live stream branding, it's so good. Yeah, this that was all done by our designer David. He did a wonderful job. It was the first thing that I worked in more for. Matt, who made the tricky, made these for me. Custom keycap holders. Yeah. This is my, I love this thing. It's just a, it's just <laughs> the a desk, desk vacuum. vacuum. That's Matt that we're doing for St. Jude. More stickers for oh, St. Jude. <laughs> And then I've got, this is a keyboard that I just use when I'm streaming, if I'm doing audio related stuff, it's got silent switches in it. Well, that's your uh, Backmarkers keyboard Yeah, too, that's it? why it's it's British Racing Green with Grand Prix Artisan. Perfect. I have my mode under there, which has got nothing into it right now. I want to rebuild, but I don't know what with. Uh, this is an LG monitor that's one of their Ergo ones. So it's got an adjustable stand that's on a pole at the back. Oh, I really wow. like that style. 
um, because it, it allows for a lot of adjustability. You can pull it out, move it up and down, tilt it. It's yep. really good. Uh, got a bunch of lights that I don't know how to use properly. <laughs> um, Are those the uh, Elgato ones? Yes. Nice. Big fan of Elgato products. So I have their microphone. This is their low profile arm, which I kind of like. So it seems to work well on stream. I'll show you. My, this is the arm that I use from K and M, right? And it's all under spring tension. Right. So it's very easy to maneuver. Right. So, but the Elgato arm. To move it up and down, you have to untighten and then move. Oh, it's just clamped. And retighten. And I, I wish that they could come up with a system of spring tension sure. for this arm, and it would make it perfect, and I would replace every microphone arm that I use with it <laughs> if they did that, but they don't. Uh, this is my PC. It's using the Lian Lee case, and I've got a bunch of stuff in there that I don't remember. I have a PC part picker list, but it's all AMD, so I have an AMD graphics card, an AMD processor. But I don't remember the exact specs of it right now, very but it's nice. very good for me. Good looking case too. And then this is my... The keyboard library? Yeah. This is in a pots and pans organizer. <laughs> by a company called Joseph Joseph. Adina found this for me. It's perfect. Was it also an Instagram ad? I don't know. I don't remember. Do you remember? Ah, oh, right yeah. on. <laughs> Wait, so I think this is just something we found. So some of these are just like, they need to be rebuilt or they are built and I'm not using them. Uh, this is one of the most disappointing keycap sets that I ever bought as Geekog Black and White. Oh, oh white yeah, I told you to buy it too. It just looks so bad. Like, you just look at these legends. Yeah, the they legends look like they were drawn on with a pen. The, the at sign is particularly tragic. They're just so bad. Yeah. Uh, but this is on a th the original Think 6.5. Beautiful keyboard. The tray mounted one. Yeah. Uh, integrated plate. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Yeah. The LCK. That was quite the mm -hmm. adventure. This is also like beautiful keycap set that ultimately is not like satisfying. Yeah. But it looks good. But it's on the keyboard that uh, you told me to buy and continues to be one of my favorites. That's the original mode with the very gross looking mirror the finish. First edition. It's super good if you keep it clean, but it's really hard to keep it clean. Yeah. Because if you ever touch it, it's done. Keep microfiber on my desk. <laughs> I don't. Oh, this is the custom J01. Yeah. It's laser engraved on the inside. Yeah, it's incredibly heavy. I love this keyboard. Sounds so good too. Yeah, We've got terminal on there. And then this is my U80, which actually today I got a photo memory. It was two years to the day that I received this. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I which, guess you started streaming two years ago. So. But it feels like an age ago. Yeah. Honestly, that, that I had this keyboard. I bought that on Mac Market from someone. Yeah. Before the prices were obscene. This is my terrible storage for decimals. <laughs> when I originally had this, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. But as it has grown, so they're actually in a like a felt box, which is oh buckling. God, I didn't even see that. This buckling real bad. So I need something. I need a better way to store them. I don't know what that is okay. right now. We'll, we'll work on that. Yeah. Well, this tra this like whole cart is really good. Like I bought this cart for the podcastathon one year. Oh, because uh, of the command center, right? Yeah. yeah. Of, of like, because we would need to move the gear around the studio because yeah. we had like the balloon room was set up over there. Mm -hmm. And then I was set up here, but we also had this desk too for different activities. The, so, the remote podcast-a-thon was quite the production. Yeah. Uh, we're actually getting ready to go out to Memphis. So like, touch wood that it goes well. You probably, people probably know by now. Uh, these are my keycaps. Oh, so this is where you walk off screen to mm -hmm. see. In my head, there was a wall here. Like I told you, like I had this layout totally wrong in my head. I wondered where you're getting keycaps from. So I come down here and get them and then I have my switches underneath the big tall jars yeah tactiles but then i also have there's like a box of like things here like different switches or different projects it's like all this this kind of stuff so there's just like a box yeah the, the in progress box yeah it's important and you're using uh a6400 right yeah for streaming nice yeah and the logitech brio as a face cam it just does the job it's not great but it does the job this half isn't used so much i don't think them by me anyway this is just like some storage of just like different gear, whatever. I wish I had more storage. I wish I stored things better. I put too much, too many boxes in here, which kind of fills up all the space. Uh, what I've learned over time, like this is the same with moving into any space. You start to realize that you want to change it after you've actually sat and worked in it. You have an original idea for it and you want to change it. I wished I had put shelves in here, in this area to store this stuff. Sure. Which is all just boxes of things that are not really accessible because they're in piles. Right. And I wish that I had like 
some some better storage solutions for this stuff than what I currently do. Um, this is cool. I like this a lot. This is an example of good storage. I have this is all for Cortex brand. This is all of the various versions of the theme system journal. So. V1 was, was there's way fewer of because we were working with our friends at Studio Neat and adapting mm -hmm. their product. So that was easier for us to produce. But then for V2, there are various size changes. Oh yeah. Um, different materials. And then we've got errors in the po in the debossing. You see how it's not, it's like way off center. Oh yeah. Um, we ended up making some changes to that to make that work. And then I have samples of every print we've done since we got it right. So that's, like, that's print three, some samples, and it goes all the way through. That was the most recent. And then we've got space for print five, which we're about to order now for 2023. Incredible. So this is that's just the journal. This is space for future products. Excellent. And then we did, a, you know, we do a bunch of competitor research um, to kind of understand a little bit of what's out there in the world. Um, so this is something that Adina went through. We just bought a bunch of stuff because I was sort of ideating on some new things. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see what already existed in the world because if I feel like I'm not adding something, there's no point in making it. So I wanted to go through what was already existing for some for the next project that we're working on right now, which. I feel weird, it feels weird really, because we have this product right now, which is done, but we haven't got a good time to release it, mm -hmm. which makes me, f it, this is like a weird thing to, to do. Um, but we just, where we are in the year right now, it's like a bad time for releasing something new because we're gearing up towards the end of the year, which is so focused on our journals. Totally. I don't want to muddy the waters by releasing a new product. So I don't know when it's going to come out, but it's done. You know, we don't want to say like, we don't want to have too many things going on at once. So yeah. it was just unfortunately the way it ended up turning out. This is just keyboard related storage stuff. Way too much fun. <laughs> some the boxes curse. <laughs> and then some keycap sets where the boxes I wanted to keep or I didn't like the set or like they were like my first sets, so like just like DSA Orange Dolch or something like that. Yeah. From I don't even remember where I got it from. These are a a bunch of version ones. Hmm. So these were before we made. So this is these are the ones that we made with Studio Neat. For uh, I went I took it over and changed a bunch of stuff. Sure. Um, these were delivered to me in error by our printer. We got, oh. we got a box of 100 to show up one day. I don't know what to do with these. Because <laughs> we can't sell them. Right. Because it's a different product. Yeah. We have thought about the idea of like selling them off for charity or something someday. But we just never got around to it. Because it would be complicated. Yeah. Because we would have to send them out somewhere. And we learned when we did the signed posters um, last year. That was a hard job to do. I, I have one. I appreciate it very much. Oh, I have a rowing machine. So this is part of like trying to be fitter. I enjoy rowing. It's the only cardio machine that I enjoy. And I had the space for it. So it I fits got a rowing machine. Well. Yeah. yeah. This is the Calax everyone owns. <laughs> and it's just got stuff on it. So like, I guess I could talk you through some of these things. Yeah. This was a terrarium. Oh my God, we had so many problems with this. We had this really great idea of like, oh, let's get terrariums. We'll bring them into the space. Yeah. We brought them in, we went, for a couple of weeks, came back to the studio, it was full of flies. Oh no. We had to take it back to the place. It's happened three times, so there's nothing wrong with the soil. And then like, it kind of looks like it's dead now, which is weird. I've actually just, I haven't really looked in here, I guess for a week, for a couple of weeks, but yeah, this, so the, everything in the terrarium looks dead. So we'll see what happens in there. <laughs> um, this was on my bachelor party when we were in Austin, we went to an arcade and everyone won a bunch of tickets and pulled them together and got me an incredible hole. <laughs> uh, this I won for being the best at the P-Calc about game in 2017. Excellent. This I won uh, in our first ever Founders quiz at the Relay Live show, which you came to, right? Which one was that? The fifth anniversary show. Oh, in San Francisco. Yeah. Yep. I beat Steven in our Founders trivia quiz. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
this is just a bunch of little things that I enjoy. This was another Relay FM host gift. Nice little water bottle. Yeah. Excellent. But like some of these water bottles, they get like a smell to them and it's really hard to get rid of. Yeah. That happened to this bottle and I can't change it. Just got the smell. So now I'm back on a plastic bottle. Cool. So it just, now, it, now it's a trinket that lives here. These are a bunch of podcast with related things. Onesie, so the skeleton yeah. onesie. These were the googly eyes from the first year. This was a ball from the first year. We had like the ball Oh, pit. the ball pit, yeah. Steven stickers. This was the terrible iPhone case that he got <laughs> for me last time. This was some confetti from when we hit a million dollars total raise. Wonderful, I remember and that. we destroyed our studios. Yep. When we went to St. Jude in March, uh, they gave us this. This is a 3D print of the statue that sits outside of the- Oh, very cool. Of the hospital of St. Jude, the yep. actual saint. Yep. This Fever Fighter. Fever Fighter was a. It's kind of explained here. Uh, Ethan. He's a uh, mascot for the uh, St. Yeah, this was right? a, yeah, this is something that Ethan, who was a patient, made. Uh, he created this character called Fever Fighter, and then they actually turned it into a thing that became part of branding that we used a couple of, uh, last year. And then this is a Fever Fighter. I think if you scan the QR code, you can learn more about it. Right, I'll pause the video here, everyone. It. This was something that they presented to us uh, when, when I visited St. Jude last year. Oh, the glitter beard. This is a piece of the machine that Steven smashed. The oh, PC, the PC Junior. And some confetti from the podcast that he was at. <laughs> and then this is me. I was standing kind of where we are right now yep. inside of the uh, balloon room, which is the gazebo, which is stored in this box. Very compactly. Surprisingly, it's absolutely massive. It's huge when it's open. It fills from this back wall to uh, basically where that fan is, Unreal. it fills that entire space um, and we've only had to use it twice and may I never need to use it again. <laughs> no more balloon room. Various games things, I have two playdates because I broke one. Mm -hmm. uh, analog pocket, which I like that I own this but I never play it. But I like that I have something that can play these games. Yeah. Like this is the Tetris cartridge which uh, is over 30 years old that I remember my mum playing and I can now put this in this and play it. That's pretty cool. So like for me, I just love that. It's a very impressive product. Label printer for the keycap boxes. Sure. There's the sea lion. Oh, the sea lion Let's see from the live streams. Yep. Yeah. These are some of those <laughs> uh, signed prints that I was mentioning. The Rio High School. These are all the ones that me and Gray messed up. Cool. That like didn't look right. So like that, that looks like a guy called Nye Davey. Than <laughs> uh, these were all taken out of quality control by Adina when she was going through them and she said, this isn't good enough, you need to do another one. Perfect. Um, need that kind of honesty. This little tech cube down here. With Z the, flip. These, the... I tried to use these as my, uh, what are they called, nothing earbuds? The nothing they, earbuds. they wouldn't turn on no matter how much I tried to try them. So right. there's nothing good about them anymore. Is that actually the Z flip or just the case? Z flip. Oh, it's actually in there. It's in there. With the, the hype beast yep. case. And then some folds from. I love this case, by the way. Like it's very good. And then you can just hold the phone. Yeah. And it and it is very hype beast. Cool. This this fire extinguisher though. I th we, I spoke about this before. It's all purpose. They built uh this company has a material like it's like a foam that comes out of these because mm -hmm. you know you can only use some fire extinguishers and some fires. Yeah, it looks like this does A through F type. Yeah. yeah. So it's all fires. Yeah because I didn't want to have to think about it. <laughs> that, is all, that has always boggled my mind that like, oh no, if there's an electrical fire, I don't put water on it. It's like, I know that, but if there's a fire, will I remember? Probably not. So I like these, because they also make blankets like for home. Oh, sure. It's like, like a phone, fires. That, it's, but it's not a blanket. It's like what you would use for a blanket, but it's a tube with the material in, in a plastic. You just put the tube into the fire, you don't open it and it will melt and expand. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So I don't know this works. Let's never have to out. use it, right? Yeah, let's, but I've seen videos. Let, let's not find out that it works or not. And then this is an A3 printer, which I needed to for a project because I needed something bigger than A4. And because I needed to, we had a design that we were working on and I needed to see it in its full glory to sure. be able to understand that the design worked. So I bought a printer that prints A3 paper which is this size, in case you don't know. It's two A4s. Insert little card here for Gray's metric paper video. You see, that's A4, that's A3, and I needed a little bit more, so we got an A3 printer. It's actually a good printer, like genuinely good. Everything prints over Wi-Fi, like I actually like that printer. You almost never hear that, that's a great endorsement. Yeah. And then this is my wife Adina's desk. Her terrarium is definitely more alive than mine. Oh, I like the bottle on that one. Yeah. 
this mirror is so I don't scare her when I walk up here. I was wondering about the mirror, so I'm glad you Because I would come it. up, because she's always got her AirPods in, I would come up and she would, her heart would jump out of her chest. Ah. So then the mirror is there, but <laughs> then sometimes I have to like make some kind of movement in the mirror. Sure. I have a light box for product photography that I'm not very good at. I want to get better at product photography. So, you know, everything's about light and I don't really understand how to use light effectively for imagery, but one day I will. There and then this is a beanbag. This, this was the first thing I bought so I could sit down somewhere before we had these chairs and the sofa because we were buying all of our furniture during COVID. So- Oh, so not of a come, but you need somewhere to sit. Just We're just trying to find things available at any one time it was very, very complicated. Um, so we had to kind of just make do for a while, but yeah, I work here every day. I love this space. It is vastly more space than one man needs. It's bigger than I thought it would be when I yeah. came here. The reason I got a space this large is when I was looking, it was the only one they had available. Mm. It just fit within, well, it was over the budget that I wanted to spend, but it fit within an amount that I was comfortable in paying and I do not regret it. It's a great space. I love having the space. I like having a lot of space where I mean, I don't feel like I'm shut in. I enjoy being in here. I enjoy the energy. Um, there are things when we eventually move that I, I would like to have an actual room where I can control the audio more for recording. And also so it doesn't disrupt, like it's hard for Adina to work here if I'm recording because I make a lot of noise, right? Because I'm just talking loudly for hours. And also she's more restricted in what she can do in the space. She can't take calls or anything like that. So that makes it more difficult. Um, but that is a future problem. This place works great for me now. Absolutely. I think that's everything in Mega Studio. I think it's everything in here. Is there any weird little thing in here you're really proud of that you never get to show people? We covered most of it. The trophies. The trophies. Because I, I love the idea of thinking I could one day win an award, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. Where's so your uh, toilet award? Don't, don't you have a toilet trophy? That's at home. Somewhere? Ah, toilet I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna display that thing proudly because I'm not proud. Not bringing that energy here. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm gonna bring that third place toilet trophy. <laughs> I think that was the first time I saw Connected live. That was what, what was 2018? Yep, that was it. In WWC? We met at California Theater the night before. Yep. After Gruber's show. Mm -hmm. And then I met Gray after your show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen him since. That was the <laughs> time when we realized we needed to hire a security person. Everyone that we were bringing to our show was like, you just leave your stuff backstage, it's fine. We didn't have any security, didn't think we'd need it. Why would we need security? But then Gray just got up, jumped back, jumped onto the stage and just walked backstage. <laughs> and it was at that moment I was like, oh, we need to change this. <laughs> we need to just have one person just standing here, just checking. Who's I mean, going it could have been Casey. Who knows what would have happened? I mean, then everything's going to get ruined. There'd be Show's cheese over. everywhere. <laughs>